Why should that matter to a voter that you've held this position for a much longer, say, on TPP Good question. than Secretary Clinton? Yeah, okay. I'll tell you why it should matter. And it, let me be very clear. I mean, I happen to respect and like Hillary Clinton, so I don't get into personal attacks. You know that. But are there differences of opinion that should be discussed? Of course there. That's what that election is about. I believe that our trade policy is going way back when. I voted against NAFTA, half the PNT are with China. I think they have been a disaster for the American worker. A lot of corporations to shut down here, move abroad. So people will have to contrast my consistency and my willingness to stand up to Wall Street and corporations, big corporations, with the secretary. Meanwhile, Vice President Joe Biden is having the same effect on the numbers in the new CBS poll as he has in other recent surveys. When he's included, he takes a majority of his support from Hillary Clinton. With Biden in the race, Clinton's lead is 19, and when he's not, her lead widens to 24 points. And, um, yeah, and I mean, you, you look at Bernie Sanders. I mean, what, what, what's Bernie Sanders have to do in the debate tomorrow night? Not lose his temper. Mm -hmm. Oh, he won't. Yeah. Oh, he could. Oh, he won't. He could. He could. I think Barnacle's right on that. He's a cranky wait, guy. Wait, what? Tell me. Yeah, he, he's very, he can be very curmudgeon-like. Curmudgeon-like? Yeah. Yes. But that's yes. not losing That's part like of his appeal. Losing it? Like, what are you talking about? That, that is part of what people, losing it, you know, I, he, he, I think that the other candidates on the stage, the you know the O'Malleys and the people in the lower tier, are going right. to try to push his buttons, yeah. and he's he is a little bit irascible. Yeah. Oh. With yeah. respect to the other candidates, this is a two-person debate, effectively. I mean, Martin O'Malley will be there, Lincoln right. Chafee, but in terms of the numbers, who's right? You know, it's a two-horse race for the moment. So this contrast will be very interesting because there are yeah. progressive litmus tests like TPP, exactly. like Keystone, where progressives say Bernie Sanders has been on the right side of these issues for a long time, and Hillary Clinton just came to them publicly anyway. He has no reason to... Anyhow. All right. Donald Trump's momentum shows no sign of stopping. The latest CBS News national poll of the Republican primary field has him winning by six points over Ben Carson, 27 to 21 percent, and more than tripling every other rival, which is why those, um, I think I've been hearing it a few times, they've been doing some articles that he is about to leave the race. He is about to leave the Let's race. Let's report willing. that here. No, he, he is. Donald. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's plateaued. Yeah. We've heard that. Uh, it's been a, it's, it's been. Reported as no, we can't very we do this every news. week. We mock the media yes. every week. You should write that and down. And we have been doing this for a couple of months now mm -hmm. because every Sunday, for some reason, people get ginned up and say, it's over, it's over, it's over. Then, Who were the then last three week before? Was, it's plateaued. Look at those numbers. 27, 21 nationally. Everybody else in single digits. And that, I, I mean, that's plateauing. Please, I, and I think what everybody's realizing, John Heilman said it uh, last week, and I've heard a lot of other people follow up by saying if Jeb Bush had Donald Trump's numbers, the race over. would be yeah. called. Over. over. TK over. Yeah. I don't understand the question when a guy's <laughs> at the top of the poll, and he's been there for, what, four months now? The question is, when will you decide to get out of the race? Uh, what? By the, way, <laughs> uh, by the way, why would he get out? So, so I, you know, we do our orphanage work usually Friday nights because oh, we stop. work so yeah. hard. So, you know, we, we, we say goodbye, we leave the orphanage at Hoboken, we come back, some wonderful kids oh, over there, by the I've way, wonderful them. kids. We come back over here, and I'm Eight in years. my, I, I, I'm, I walk past the TV, I turn it on, it's CNN, swear to God, I love CNN, great mm -hmm. people there, salt of the earth. A 10-minute segment. Uh -huh. I kid you not. Oh, tell me. Trump's exit strategy. Yeah. Yeah. And they talk for 10 minutes about how Donald Trump is getting ready to leave. You know, he's a businessman after all. He's a businessman, and, he, and, he, and he's smart. He, Donald Trump is planning to. I mean, Trump's exit strategy. And I sit there going, "What am I missing?" And I look at a New Hampshire poll, which. That's what you're missing. We should show you a New Hampshire poll. And I started adding up. If you add up, like, just about everybody else's numbers, add up Jeb's, add up Marco's, add up Cruz's, add up Rand Paul's, add up Lindsey Graham's, Look, see? add up all of them. It makes sense. They don't even come close to Donald Trump's 32%. And the conversation continues. At what point does the media just admit? We hate him so much that even when he is trouncing everybody, we loathe this vulgarian from Queens who we've never accepted into our club and screw him. We're never going to give him any sort of respect. At what point 
Or are they just going to say, okay, I this is answer. about math? Oh, they, I call Mike them, has I call an them, answer. I called them Trump deniers last week. They're math deniers. Oh, total Trump deniers. I, ha I have an answer. As the pace picks up mm -hmm. and uh, we yeah. are forced out of our enclaves in Manhattan and Washington, D.C., and forced to cover these events. Please don't be wrong, on Mike Barnum. On a more regular basis, when you go to a Trump rally, you will see... The vast majority of his supporters, maybe 100% of his supporters, but certainly the vast majority of them who go to these rallies, they are not going away. They are so not am going I getting away. a truck? No, not, you're not going to get a truck.